Yeah. All right. Let's focus back on the magic. All right. So this is a build around submission that I had for Risen Reef plus Master of the Waves. So Master of the Waves here is a devotion card that when it comes into play, it creates a 0-1 elemental that it makes into a 2-1 elemental for every blue devotion that you have. So if you curve Risen Reef into Master of the Waves, you get at least two elementals, assuming you have no, no other blue, blue pips in play. And then this makes two elementals, which double triggers Risen Reef, which is sweet. So the rest of this deck is Brazen Borrower as a reasonable tempo card that also has two blue devotion. I've got a Cavalier Gales here at the top end that's a, like a, just a five drop bomb that also gives a lot of blue devotion. I've got Eldritch Evolution kind of tying the room together to give us more access to Risen Reef and Master of the Waves. I've got a cheeky Yarok in here as well to uh, double up some of our Enter the Battlefield effects. I've splashed white off of Gilded Goose once upon a time in some duels for Voice of Resurgence because this is an elemental that makes elemental tokens that also works well with Eldritch Evolution, which is quite fantastic. So we can jump this into Master or Risen Reef. I got a couple of Cloudkin Seers in here. It's just an extra three drop that we can turn into fours and fives so that it draws a card on its own, which is super reasonable. So let's go ahead and dive on into a Pioneer League with this one and uh, see how it goes. Is it possible to explain the chance to draw slash find a yark with X hips and Y? I mean, it's possible, but like it's such a it's such a convoluted and complicated calculation that it's not going to be very useful. <coughs> we could also theoretically cast Yarok with mana confluence and uh, and Gilded Goose. <coughs> uh, I manually updated X trick. I didn't have time to I didn't have time to mess with it. Well, I'm good. Glad to have you here, Johnny Boy. <clears throat> Is there a reason to play Evolution over Neoform? Yeah, Evolution gets you cards that cost two more, and Neoform only gets you cards that cost one more. So Evolution's a little bit more expensive mana-wise, but it's a more powerful effect. And sweet. My opponent's username is Modern MTG. Do you think they've ended up in the wrong in the wrong queue? <clears throat> Mystic Land War. The Mystic Land War split is just one of those things that's technically correct to do because of cards like Legion's End and Deputy of Detention and Declaration in Stone. There's just a number of cards in the format that can punish you for having a bunch of cards named the same. <clears throat> the Okos are coming. Get to the Choppa. Thanks for the biddies from the Crypt. Last Breath. Yeah. That's uh, that's an interesting one. It's probably a, that's probably a, a playable card in this format. So I assume some kind of blue-white control deck. Which probably means our pile of value creatures is going to be pretty reasonable. Hopefully, hopefully Cancel Culture doesn't end Risen Reef before it gets to the board. We got Censored. Wow. Brutal. Or Spike is busted, chat. Yeah, I think Sensor is pretty great. Wow. Cancel culture. Cancel culture is strong. We did, we did finally resolve a spell.
Risen Reef, Risen Reef is an in international waters. It doesn't have the protection of the Constitution. Syncopate for X is two. Yes. Thanks for the you. Your syncopate killed my food. Yes, it did. You've you've syncopated my food. I'm going to lead on Master of Waves here rather than Oko. I think I'd rather this get countered than Oko get countered. Man, Last Breath is like really good against our deck, huh? It exiles Voice, Master, Risen Reef, Cloudkin Seer. Oh, if I would have played this pre-combat, the Cloudkin Seer would have hit for more. That's a good thought. I forgot this was pumping up my team. They could have Supreme Verdict here, but then I get to untap and play Oko, so I think that's fine. Oko plus voice, sign me up. Blossy should have made Risen Reef Hex proof, something like that. I mean, to be fair, my opponent missed a land drop at one point, so they probably have had a lot of gas in their hand. <laughs> oh, control decks. Oh, control decks. All right, so pretty sure I want to cut Eldritch Evolution against counter spells. Pretty sure I want all of these cards. Pretty sure I want to trim two mana dorks. Seems fine. Actually, Brazen Borrower is probably not still. Probably not stellar. All right, let's do that. About to end this control deck's entire career with these veils. Concede because you resolved to spell. Yep. If they're if they're playing for Oko is concede, they're probably not about to have a good time playing Magic. I was going to say in this format, but. Conceding to Oko is just a bad plan in all magic formats right now because Oko is basically everywhere other than Popper. Gosh, just any of these cards were like a second land, the sand would be absurd. The sand's great. I don't have any white spells in sight. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab the Botanical Sanctum rather than hammer my health total here. Oh, I guess that's awkward because this is coming into play tap next turn. Mana Confluence also would have meant this is still tapped. So hopefully we draw an untapped land here. When will Oko be eroded to be your, can be your commander? Well, Oko can be your commander in Brawl. That's why Brawl's medium. Scape shift and Urborg are legal. Legal. Yeah, that sounds great. Now I'll take this Temple Guard in, in case we draw a voice. Are you loco for Oko chat? What if instead we didn't do that? What if what if instead my planeswalker resolved? This is your build around, Chef Seth. <clears throat> someone someone else submitted a similar one, so it got bumped up. Counter, counter, your counter, draw a card. Your move, Yugi boy. 
Green counter spell gets cast. I spent 250 shillings to be heard. Yep. Yeah, imagine registering blue cards and not registering one mana cryptic commands. So are all creature commanders just unplayable? In, in, in a competitive sense, probably. Field of the Dead, eh? That's a card. Maybe I'm supposed to just pass and like Brazen Borrower at their end step. Ooh, that resolved. That's sick. Um, I think I'm actually just going to plus here again. Because I think there's a good chance they want a Supreme Verdict next turn. And I'd prefer they didn't. Or if they do, I'd prefer to not lose my food token. Everything's viable in Frontier until proven otherwise. What if we made the elf an elk? I don't think so. God, when you... Oh! 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 Oh, baby. Now we get the verdict, sure. Untapped land would actually be pretty good here. Yeah, voice is pretty good. Hey, the discovery. Thanks for the brand new Twitch Prime support. I appreciate that. There's a lot of great people. You can ship that to every month, single month here on Twitch. Thanks for sending it my way this month. Uh, they're kind of green. There's a green. There's a green border. If they have a seventh differently named land here, they get to trigger their Field of the Dead. Triggering Field of the Dead in their two-color deck is kind of impressive. Yeah, that's a Blast Zone. Sweet. That's sick. My body is ready to negate this death ray. Ah, yes, the classic make a zombie and then cast Supreme Verdict. A tale as old as time. You love to see it, chat. You love to see it. Suddenly, suddenly, 11 power. Man, voice is good in this deck. Put you to one, go. It's unfortunate that we didn't have an extra land to hold the negate up this turn. I think if we could hold the negate up this turn, we'd be a lock. We're probably a lock regardless, but I think we'd be... You think voice is good in most decks, to be fair? Maybe. This deck's got, this deck's got an, an absurd amount of synergy surrounding it. Hey, thanks for the nine months, Schmitty Games. I appreciate the three quarters of a year. Welcome back. It's a brave new world, Lance. We don't have to be, we don't have to be ashamed of our voice of resurgences anymore. There's no, there's no shame here any longer. Tapped Mystic Sanctuary. Yup. Uh, 
All right, if they have a last breath, they can exile this master of waves. And then they're still very dead on board. Deccan stone, sure. If three lethal attackers, they have one blocker. Untapped land. Untapped land? Untapped land. I'd like to be able to do this, this. Good morning, Sarah. All right. Good, good start. Deck, deck full of value creatures taught the control deck that they shouldn't be controlling a new format. Welcome to Thunderdome. I am confounded by my Hoglandian wealth and thus am lighting some shillings on fire. Excellent troll. I know this is the first match of the second deck, silly cheese. I go, I go live a little bit after 7 a.m. every morning. So we've been, we've been up for almost two hours already. Uh, sure. Gets to go. Voice into Oko. Man is a little awkward, but that's fine. Uh, I have no idea. X trick. The answer. The answer to most. The answer to most is X too cute for modern questions is yes, because modern is a very fast, brutal, and efficient format. Yeah, someone else said that, Bob. Doesn't it return to play face down though? So it's not an elemental when it comes back. Hey, glad to hear it, little McNugget. Mythguard, Mythguard, sweet. All right, so I think I'm gonna shock this in. I'm gonna petty theft this, and then I'm gonna play this elf since we drew that. Uh, we're currently playing Bant Elementals. That's why it's the deck, the first deck listed in the stream title. You can also do the current deck that we're playing by typing exclamation point deck in chat or accessing the stream deck or overlay. Thanks, Cross Ash. I appreciate it. Uh, we've not done Young Pyromancer plus Risen Reef. That maybe is something worth exploring. I don't know. The problem with that is like you have to put a bunch of instants and sorceries in your tribal deck, which is probably not great. Did Twitch not update? Sometimes Twitch doesn't update when I click update title. No, it actually updated. Seven months of ad block guilt on YouTube. As someone who doesn't live in Cornfield Town, I appreciate the organization of your webpage. Thanks for keeping me around, Jesse. Welcome back. No, channel points are purely, channel points are purely a, um, a what's it called driver. Man, we'd have gotten to cast that this turn. They're an engagement driver. Let's just elk that, go. Uh, you get shillings for showing up to multiple streams in a row. You get shillings for watching. You get shillings for clicking the button every 15 minutes by the shillings. If you click near shillings, there should be a link to give you information that tells you every everything you need to know about them. Am I chump blocking if they attack? I'm not sure that I am. Maybe I should have just made a food. And devotion is a thing. Found a weird interaction between stealing enchantment gods and slumgar. You can steal it when it's a creature, but it loses creature status upon theft. But it goes. I don't understand your weird interaction ribbon. That sounds like normal. I just clicked the button, got a hundred shillings, and feel used. Thanks for the eighteen months, Matmatic. I would I would love to LQ for ten minutes. Well, Oko is probably dying regardless.
Another Eldritch Evolution, eh? Alright, well, I'm definitely attacking for two. I just want to say it's refreshing to see respect and organization that you give your stream. Sometimes I venture into different streams that can be scary places. Thanks, Twister. My my secret is I was a real adult before I became a uh, before I became a meme on Twitch, so it's my works to my advantage. Vomit. Are we dead? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pretty close to dead. Other streams are like going into a bar in a foreign country without checking them on Google. We could get burned out here. If we don't get burned out, I think getting Master of Waves is going to put us in a good spot. And I'm actually going to go ahead and evolve into Master of Waves still because I want to crack my Voice of Resurgence into a giant token. I want to I be able to attack with a big token next turn, potentially. They could have, like, Collision Colossus here to trample over and kill us, but... If that doesn't happen and we don't get burned out, I feel like we're in a decent spot here. I guess we could get Goblin Chain Whirler, Hurling Outburst, sure. Oh, we're getting Stoked the Flames. We're dead. Yep. And a Shock. Yeah. Mana Base just a little bit too painful that game. Deck in Stone is excellent against a bunch of tokens named Goblin. Jace Architect of Thought sounds good. Is Brazen Borrower good enough here? Probably not. We just do that. Trade these out for these. I think I like it. Maybe Negate's good enough. Scooter... Doling out some sub gifties. Thank you for that. Welcome to our newest members of Hoaglandia. First time watching the stream for an extended period of time. I'm loving Pioneer. But particularly the sarcasm and humor will be back. Good to have you here, Cario. Hope you're having an excellent uh, Friday wherever you're at. Scooter. Scooter is one of our sub Santas. And remember, if you're someone who's gifted a sub and you enjoy chatting, you accrue extra shillings while you're a sub, so you can save those up so you can still chat once you're no longer, once your gift sub runs out. A while ago, you played a JAC tokens list with Stoke the Flames and Modern. We'd love to see, yeah, probably win Megas. There's a lot of great things to explore still. What's going, what's going on in this format? i been watching for more than two years now and never gotten a gift sub. Well, if you're currently subbed, you can't get a gift sub. I agree the stream has been reminiscent from when Modder wasn't abysmal. I agree. It's really, this is really, throw those at my deck submission. I just want to see how dumb that deck list might be outside of goldfishing. Sounds good, Scooter. It's really, it's really made me realize I didn't hate magic online so much as just like modern was kind of dragging on me. Doling out some more. Thanks, Scooter. I think I lead on Elf when I have Elf and Goose and Oko. Just so that way I don't have to spend this food right away. Is he dead, Jim? 
He's not dead. That's exciting. I guess leading on Goose lets me block this. I don't believe you collect shillings on PS4 currently. You do not. Yeah, it's very, it's very new. It's still in beta on Twitch, so I don't think it's not supported by all of their different platforms yet. So next turn we can go Elf Goose Tap Land to make my food a 3-3. Sure. Magma Spray is pretty good against us, huh? Exiles our voice of resurgence without giving us a token. So they get to put Oko to one here. But he's still there to hang out and cause trouble. Just so, so many resources spent on my Oko here. Declaration in Stone, for people not super familiar with that removal spell, I think this removal spell is going to be pretty premium in this format in general as far as white removal goes. It exiles a creature and all other creatures with the same name, and then for each non-token creatures exiled that way, the opponent generates a clue, which is an artifact they can pay to to sacrifice and draw a card. So it, like, slowly replaces their creatures with other things. It's also excellent at cleaning out tokens, since tokens don't give them, don't give them clues. Yeah, the red, the, there's a lot of very different variations of red prowess, and I think most of them are good. We played red green on stream yesterday to a very reasonable result. Another goose, A. Eh? All right, so let's, uh, let's make this a 3-3 three, three as well. I'm going to play a goose here. How do we feel about turning Elvish Mystic into Risen Reef? I feel like I don't hate that. I want to just start drawing some cards. What's bad about Legion's End? Well, Legion's End only hits things that cost two or less, and Legion's End is black. So I'm talking specifically about white removal. Backup Oko. Sounds great. So I agree that Legion's End is probably playable in this format, depending on what the creatures end up looking like, but the fact that this hits anything is a big deal. Rampaging Elk. Yep. Lightning Bolt is not legal in this format. That's why you see people playing things like Wild Slash. Yeah, almost, almost certainly playing a Tarkus Command on the opponent's other side. I think Chain to the Rocks, Magma Spray, Lava Coil, and Cinderi Flow. Yeah, I agree. It seems like there's a lot of... And again, like, what removal spells are optimal are going to vary a lot as the format develops and matures a little bit. Oak was the sentence. Maybe. There's more, definitely more powerful cards for the red deck. Declaration Stone is a sorcery. So I shocked in that land because I'm planning to make two food or, like, make a food and crack a food this turn, depending on how much damage they try to push through. I'm just going to go ahead and double block here. This way, if they have Collision Colossus, we still trade. It does not does not have Menace Ball. It's an Elk, but I think it's still correct to double block. Hey, Pepperidge Farm. Thanks for doing out a sub gift I appreciate the support. Happy Friday. What do you think is a good vi represent, visual representation of Elks in paper? I don't know. That's not, that's not something I have to worry about. I wonder if I want to negate. Cavalier Gales is probably slow at the top end. I'm going to bring in a negate. Why have Aether Gust in my sideboard? Why don't I not board Aether Gust in? I'm a big dumb stupid. Let's cut, let's cut both my fives. I'm going to try an Eldritch Evolution too. Seems a little slow. Let's do, let's do that. I'm cutting, cutting my big bombs. Love it.
Yeah, the Sylvan Awakening list was great. We played that yesterday. It was one of the two decks I tagged as deck of the day. Something that's going to be useful for people that aren't familiar, you're new to my content, as the as things go on. If you're someone that can't catch everything live, on my website, under the videos tab here, there's a favorite button. And every day, I tag one or two decks, depending on how many we play as my favorite. So yesterday, I tagged Four Color Sahili and... Um, what did I not tag that one as a favorite? I'm going to have to go back and tag that one as a favorite. Yesterday was a long day. So I tag some number of favorites every day that appear on this favorites page. And then all my Pioneer decks have a Pioneer page here as well. So lots of great ways to find content if you can't catch it live on my channel. Easy mulligan here. No green source. Uh, yeah, this hand looks great. I'm going to bottom the second deck in stone, I think. Uh, Elves felt reasonable. It felt like it struggled with the prowess deck that we played against, but everything else, like, when it came to just racing, felt pretty fine. I assume this elf is dead. Yeah, I think Deck and Stone's great. I think it's probably going to be a premium white removal spell in this format. Being, being able to exile anything and being able to exile multiple copies is big upside. Our mana, our mana is being a little bit painful here. The splash for white is not free in a matchup like this. All right. I mean, if they don't, if they don't kill our elf next turn, we're just going to like curve master into master into master against their mostly mono red deck. Seems good. They have like a shock here. They can like shock both our things though. And then we're probably dead. Yeah, that's pretty unfortunate. So I get to Dreadhorde Arcanist, flash that back, and then hit us for four. So we need to hope to draw a land here now. Vomit. Very close to dead. Wonder if we'll see them flash back Titan Strength instead of Wild Slash and just push damage. Killing my thing. Okay. So we're taking eight down to eight. Well, that's a risen reef. I guess. I guess that's what I do here. I don't know. We're, pro we're probably dead. Our draw is just too slow. Just a little bit, a little bit too slow on the draw. A lot of efficient interaction out of the opponent. Please keep in mind, if you want to tell me I'm wrong, you need to tell me why you think I'm wrong. And believe me, I'm wrong all the time. You just got to ask my wife. But if you just show up and say, Jeff, you made the wrong play, I'm going to give you a 10 minute break because that's not helpful. That's just rude. Don't be rude. Be helpful. Yeah, I agree. The red, the red prowess decks seem real, really great. Assume we're going to die to stoke the flames here. That's why they didn't attack with Monastery Swiss Spear. Actual, the actual answer is I don't think any of our decisions mattered there. I think our deck was just too slow on the draw. I think reg regardless of what we do, we lose that game. Do our MTGO sets run out at the same time as MTGA? Yep, yeah, 90 minutes to 2 hours is exactly correct. Although, the one thing that's different with MTGO versus MTGA is that in between this deck and the next deck, there's going to be, there's going to be like a 10 to 12 minute break because it takes 10 to 12 minutes for me to return the two decks that I have and get cards for the next two decks. So I can only, only get cards for two decks at a time. So we'll have a little bit slightly longer intermission after this one finishes before the next Bant deck. Just 
Sure, we're on the draw. We have a once upon a time. So I think it's a sign of how strong current standard is. It's actually harder to get cards for more recent sets on Magic Online because since Magic Arena was introduced, um, cards from standard legal sets are more scarce on Magic Online because there's less people drafting on this platform. This plate is having a Halloween sale for 35% for the next few days. That's sweet. Uh, I unfortunately don't have access to change that graphic, but it's good to know, and I can plug that verbally. Wonder if they're a Nexus of Fate deck, Growth Spiral, net nonsense. Nope. Just an Oko Mirror. Maybe. Do you has a counter spell? Nope. Just a whole whole lot of nothing over there. I'm expecting to get combo killed. I wish we could elk their lands, but they couldn't elk ours. Yeah, I'm expecting, like, Wilderness Reclamation here if they're just, like, not doing anything. Jace Architect of Thought. Okay. Flood of Tears. Return all non-land permanents to their owner's hand. If you control four or more non-token permanents, put a permanent free... Okay, lands. Lands versus Flood. Can I push Just Guy Possibilities next? Uh, you theoretically could, but the next two decks each have 100 points behind them. So if you want to if you wanna cut 100 pointers, you have to do 200 points because them's the rules. Maybe I'm supposed to leave that Arisen Reef. I don't know. I feel like I need to kill them. It was probably... You know what? It was wrong. I should have drawn this. Yeah, the start The start of a new format, Scholar, is like everything super inflated. So like even with playing five decks yesterday and four today, the queue is going to be super ballooned. I also would prefer to like put some thought into your deck and not just like play your list card for card. But, you know, I'm not one to say no to money. So they took Flood of Tears last time. So I'm just going to do Flood of Tears versus again here. They put the land and the carry added into their hand. They're at 14. I'm going to Master of Waves and try and ramp up here. So we would have gotten eight reef triggers if I wouldn't have elked the other one. And maybe that was wrong. I'm going to say no on this because I haven't played a land for the turn yet. I'm going to put this one into play. No, I don't want to pay life. As always, any questions for will you play X should be answered by filling out the form on my website. I feel like Teamer might be better for Creeping Trailblazer and Metallic Mimic. As always, lazy deck suggestions are not welcome here. The, instead of just telling me I'm wrong, you need to identify problems that my deck has and then tell me how you're solving them by making that change. 
Don't just say, Jeff, this other thing is better. Explain why it's better in great detail. Thanks for the brand new Prime Support thing, Gold. I appreciate that. Welcome. All right, so we pick all our stuff up. But like, I've got a good number of lands in play, so... So what do I, what do I want to do here? They didn't take the other Flooded Tears earlier. I think I want to just play out all my mana creatures. It could be right to just Risen Reef too, though, as well. So I can Risen Reef, and then I have three mana creatures. Yeah, let's do that, because maybe this could hit a land. Well, that's kind of a land, not really. You want me to just double Reef? It could be right to just double Reef. If I double Reef next turn, I could go Master into Oko. Which could be correct. I guess if I master into Oko or Oko into master next turn, they're dead anyways. Well, they have still been carried out of the block though, right? Mm, that's true. If I would have hit an untapped land, I could have double reefed into a single dork. It's a good observation. Tamio, pick back up Flooded Tears. Yup. Oh, they're plussing. Okay. Are they dead? They named Prophetic Prism. Are they dead to Oko activations? So that's a land. Yeah, they're, they're dead, right? Because they uh they block a 3-3 three, three and they take 5. Yay, yay, green pseudo haste. Mystic dispute, negate, aether gust. Um, I don't know if Rex Sage or Veil of Summer are going to be good here. I feel like there's a good chance they're not. Brazen Borrowers, maybe a little bit medium too. Feel like Rex Sage is fine. The plus on Tamio. Yeah, but it was for like a useless artifact, right? They had witching. They did have witching well. They could have counter spells too, which makes this worse. I got you, Y6. Let's try, let's try this. I'll bring in, bring in one Rex Sage and leaving in some evolution seems like a low cost. I have no idea. I'm playing the games, Kikoro. Obviously, I think I think it pulls its weight. That's why I put it in the deck. So, like, the short answer to your question is yes. I'm playing the card. That's why. That's why I think it's good. If you if here's a better question. If you think it's not pulling its weight, explain why. Yeah, if a mod gets timed out, they lose their sword. And the other mods are really mean. So if, you, if you're if you a mod and you ask for a timeout, expect to get dogpiled by the other mods when you come back and ask for your sword back. Fair, fair warning to people who are new mods who haven't experienced that yet. Oh, prof, these, all these eggs allow them to flood of tears 
the eggs allow them to flood of tears and then put a thing into play for free. That makes sense. Ramp, ramp, ramp it up. Mmm, ramp, ramp, ramp it up. Mmm. Getting, getting a bunch of lands into play against their Flood of Tears deck seems really good. It's been a long time since I talked in chat and now I need one thing. We got you. We know what you like. I assume they're going to put Omniscience into play. Is their plan? One would, one would assume. So maybe, maybe I do want my Natural Slates. Have some blade walkers. Ooh. Do I want to Oko first? I probably want to Oko first, huh? It gives me an extra, extra devotion. Just got upkeep erasured in standard. Can we have field back yet? Nope, not yet. All right, well, they haven't ramped at all this game. The fact that Master of Ways makes Risen Reef a real card is super sick too. Slag, attack you with my 3-3, go. Does casting cards an adventure trigger prowess? It does. So adventure cards are creatures everywhere except when they're being cast for their adventure mode on the stack. This build's been sweet. I feel like I might want some more negates in the sideboard, but like Mystic Disputes like a pseudo negate as well. A lot of the sideboard work in this format is just, a lot of the sideboard in this format right now is just guesswork so I don't really have a good base. It's possible maybe I want to try and figure out a better plan for the prowess matchup. Some other like more efficient things. Like honestly, maybe even just playing some Cerulean Drakes could be good for the prowess matchup. That deck, that deck seems popular and powerful. I think that's the good like. Baseline punish clunky decks for the format to start are the various red aggro decks. Yeah, the Yarok at the top end is probably some nonsense. I think I like the Cavalier Gales to randomly evolution into, but it's probably very unnecessary. Um, sure. We find a, find an L for a goose on one here. We're in a pretty good spot. Got six shots at it. Look at that. Nothing, nothing but net, chat. Nothing but net. I think I'm going to take the guaranteed land here. I could, I could like, I could take the voice. So if they kill this, I have a turn two play still. But like, if I miss on my land after they kill my, after they kill this, I'd be really sad. Murderous Rider was bugged two days ago with Grim Flare. Yeah, yeah, adventure creatures are currently bugged with Delirium. Because Moto, Moto is quality software. What's the power level of Pioneer been like? It's been closer. It's it feels like a good middle ground between standard, standard, and modern. The current power level of standard is also quite high, though, which helps skew it a little bit, I think, too. I mean, I, I would say your take there is bad, hot guy from Babylon, because like my keep's just not a bad keep with once upon a time. It's not making my bad keep good. It's just making my like my bad keep acceptable. Or like this is just like an okay thing to be doing. Gosh, this card is so much worse without fetch lands. It's wonderful. Jokes on you, opponent. I wanted the cloud seer before master of waves, anyways. Eh.
Master of Waves was 0.1 ticket now, and now it's 2.9. I mean, part of that is, like, just natural. Like, there is some finance in play there, but part of it, too, is just, like, natural demand, too, I think. Like, I do think this format's just going to be incredibly popular, so some of that's definitely natural. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 baby. Oh, baby. Yep. Huh? So, I think I want to just Oko here. I'm going to go ahead and elk this, I think. Actually, I'm just going to petty theft this now so I don't get in trouble. That's, that's a punish for waiting. That's a punish for not playing Master of Waves out sooner. And maybe I should have done that. Maybe I should have played Master there. Mana Confluence has been okay. This is the first time I've drawn both of them and it definitely kind of sucks. That's, that's very silly, Time Lord. Your chance of drawing both of those together is astronomically low. Huh? So... I can goose... Swap the food for this... Petty Theft this, play Master of Waves, kill Liliana. Although maybe I want to swap for this. No, I can't do all that. I don't have enough mana to do that. I'm dumb. That costs, that costs seven mana. Yeah. Huh? Yes, Master of Waves counts itself. Swap for the 3 3 and sack it to Evolution. That could be okay. Yeah, I kind of like that. This takes them off Devotion, too. Oh, and then I can... I can shock this in and go... Okay, this gives me enough mana, right? Because it makes it cheaper. So I can sack this to evolution, get the Master of Waves, and then Petty Theft this. Do people not realize that evolution and Neoform are different cards and, like, have a different effect?
Y'all, y'all know those are different cards, right? Yeah, drawing two mana confluence together might suck enough that I just want to like make sure that never happens and not play two of them. If we, if we lose this game, it's definitely going to be because we get punked out by a Grey Merchant because these Mana Confluences did a bunch of damage to me. The Queen of Vomit Emo. Yeah, this deck's been doing sweet things. So this is going to come into play and pump up all my jam. I don't really want to take more damage from these. I think I'm just going to play Botanical Sanctum tapped. And then I'm going to go ahead and attack with these. We are, we are in fact going to have plenty of mana next turn. Thought seize, sure. You try and make some mana confluence and aether hubs. No, I don't think aether hubs good without actual energy. Thought thought sees concede. Take a little take a little info on the way out the door. Fair. Man, you know what card seems really good against their deck chat? Is Vine Mare good against the mono black deck? What are we how do we feel about Vine Mare against the mono black deck? This is this is an elemental too, by the way, which is great. Things 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 that are just completely okay. Yeah, you can you can evolution into the vine mare. Do I want declaration in stone here? I almost feel like I don't. I feel like the five drops at the top end of this deck have been unnecessary. Maybe four Eldritch Evolution is too much as well. Are there any cheap one or two mana cards we could play to make the Prowess matchup better? I wonder if we're just supposed to play copies of that stupid... What's the stupid, like, one, two elemental that gains three? That might just be a card that we're willing to play. Could play Nyx Fleece Ram. I think Nyx Fleece Ram is too slow. Healer, yeah, Healer of the Glade. Might want some of those in the 75. Yeah, I don't know that Spell Pierce is good enough. We don't lose because of their spells. We lose because we get burned out. And if we're going to, like, counter a deal 2 or deal 3, I'd rather just have a 1-2 that games 3. Death Rite's not really a playable magic card in this format. So this hand looks medium, and then you realize we have a second land with this Once Upon a Time. So sign me up. And remember, if they have a discard spell on one... You once upon a time in response, so you can find your land so they can't discard it. Hey, thanks Terminator. Yeah, the Pioneer videos uh, went up late on YouTube last night and they still did well in spite of going up late because we ran late. So I'm excited to see what the content looks like after the next couple of weeks. If standard, if standard doesn't improve, this might turn into a Pioneer plus Brawl stream. Yeah, I agree, Percy. There is not, there is not a very high concentration of good one mana cards. I agree with that. 
Shadow Lord Games, thanks for the brand new tier one sub. I appreciate that. Welcome back. So keeping me around. Man, I wanted my Broco. But only, but only on Wednesdays. Yay, discard spells. Maybe I should have boarded in the Deccan Stones. Nope, they have triple black cards riding in their hand that they can't cast right now. Good to have you here, Neptune. Perfect. Oh, you know what? I should have put this into play untapped, and then I could have end stepped Brazen Borrowered this, and then untapped and uh, played Oko. I guess I could still just like do that next turn, anyways. Yeah, it's probably fine. Ha! <laughs> ha! Nice mana base. You've killed him. Congrats. When, you're, when your mono black deck is struggling to cast its spells, you should reassess some of your life choices. Like, what have I, what have I done? What have I done? I chose to live this life. Welcome to Magic the Elkling. Oko shall be your guide. My hand is how you could say thought sees resistant. How do you differentiate between mana sources you expected to untap versus tap when you're running the numbers on colored sources? You just don't really. You kind of you kind of look at how many turn one plays you have and decide whether or not you want to play buddy or fast lands. We played against a pioneer or a pioneer a possibility storm deck earlier today that was quite awesome. That we had someone add to the queue, so looking forward to getting to that one a little bit. So they know this is bricking. Can goose sack elk foods? It cannot. So this card still is named food, but if you look here, the food token line is crossed out, and goose is specifically looking to sacrifice things that have the food subtype. So when they when they lose that subtype, they no longer become gooseable. Did I miss lethal? I don't think so. I could have exchanged for this. Maybe that was better. Exchanging, giving them elementals that die for things with Oko is kind of hot. No, I could have given them an elemental that would have just died. They still wouldn't be dead. They'd be going to one. I think they're going to three now. The possibility storm list is not currently in the deck queue, no. Our deck feels like it's doing generically powerful and consistent things. Hey, look, they're casting Languish. And they're still dead on board to this Oko. So do you have an Oxus Grasp too? Oh, I also get a voice token. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Get you. You're not even gonna kill every Oko you see, good one. 
most of your removal spells are gonna get countered by Veil of Summer. If being able to kill Oko and Nissa was good enough, the decks wouldn't be a problem. So, my takeaways from playing this so far is that Evolution's been okay, but probably not good enough for four. These expensive creatures at the top end have been, have been medium, and I'd like to cut them. The mana confluences are too painful to play two, so I probably will cut the second copy, but the first one is reasonable, I think. I think I'd like to pull the curve down a little bit, ideally, but I'm not sure what else exactly I want to play to do that. So that's something to think about. Mr. Mint Muka, thank you for the brand new tier one sub. Welcome to Hoaglandia. Hope you're having an excellent day wherever you are. Yeah, SCN's fine. Not great, but fine. Would love to draw an accelerant on one. Maybe, maybe we're just supposed to play more accelerants. Maybe with evolution, I'm supposed to just play like 10 accelerants. Because I can like Oko my accelerants too when they're not useful anymore. That could be the answer. We just like play six elves and four, ge four geese. I think Grazer is much worse than Land War Elves and Elvish Mystic in, in decks that have low land counts. So right now I'm playing four geese and four elves. We could play four geese and six elves very easily. Oh, punished. Should have should have shocked this in so I could brazen borrower them. Okay. That, that's a real bad hit. And like talking of those details that I'm sitting there talking about are why it's really important to not just look at the results of the decks that we're playing and to like think critically about what they're doing. Cause you'll frequently hear me say like, regardless of if we four, one or three to this set, like this deck has things in it that weren't ideal and I'd like to change them. Um, I think that sounds like a win more suggestion, Krico. I think most situations where you have one of those, you're already winning. So I think Spark Double is just significantly worse than... Spark Double is significantly worse. Dromoka's Command with your Soldier of the Pantheon. That's a, that's a decision. That's that's a decision. So if I would have bounced this, we would have been we would have drawn more cards here. Just going to get tempoed out of this game because we missed too many land drops. All right, and this is this has been happening a lot in these games where like post board, I'm like making changes that are just like well, I'm making these changes in general because it just doesn't feel good. It's like these are these are changes that I want to make to this deck in general. All right, do I want Aether Gust or Mystic Dispute here? I don't know exactly what their deck is doing, so less is probably more. I think on the play, especially, I want to just stay linear game one. Or while we're on the play here for game two. Yeah, it could be some kind of Bant Company deck for sure. Sand's not particularly good, but it's probably in the range of keepable. Four could be too many Brazen Borrowers too. This card's been fine, but like double blue taxes the mana a little bit. Four Corsair of Crew Fix to add resilience to the Red Prowess decks. I think maybe Corsair's okay. I don't know. That's just really slow. It's just it's just really slow. I guess it blocks okay. It like it doesn't even really block okay though, right? Is it greedy to play Risen Reef or Voice after Risen Reef? I'm going to shock this in and pass and just play into Borrower this turn. I might take too much damage from my mana to be playing Voice like this.
And this is, this is actually a pretty big punish. Because if I had voice in play right now, I could have Eldritch Devolution voice into Master of Waves on, on four. So like... It's a real, real big, real big penalty here. All right. Pioneer's been great. We're 3-1 uh, in this league. We 3 2 the one before it. I like this deck a lot. It's been sweet. Yeah, maybe Knight of Autumn could be okay. Yeah, we could maybe... Oh, yeah, we could swap the Rex Sage for Knight of Autumn. That's probably a good suggestion. I have a Rex Sage in my sideboard. Yeah, I think that's a good one. I had started... I put together most of the sideboard before I... Before I added... Um, hmm. I think I want this for the tempo. I put together most of the sideboard before I added... Uh, Added the white splash. All right, so we'll block here and trigger Risen Reef with our elemental. And Charming Prince could be okay. Yeah, I could see that. I don't hate the Corsair Crufix suggestion either. I think that could end up being pretty reasonable. Yeah, I agree that we don't need that many blue sources for Master to be good because of because of Reef. I concur with that. I don't just like making a couple is good with this. This deck might actually want lands over once. Maybe, Bob? Yeah, the Risen, the Risen Reef aspect could be that. What problem is Omnath solving, Percy? Like, so far, I feel like the decks Omnath would be good against aren't really decks that we're going to struggle with. Three people suggesting three mana spells to beat aggro decks. You, I feel like you don't understand why you lose to aggro. All right, so they're fighting my master. So they know about this petty theft. So they're playing into it. I'm gonna go ahead and bounce this here. That way the fight doesn't happen. The second mana confluence is definitely a bit of a medium card. All right, so the plan here is to go borrower, and then we're gonna evolve borrower into master of waves. Yeah, some Wicked Wolves is a good suggestion. I like that. I don't know if we want the full four, but yeah, we have the food package. Wicked Wolves sounds great. I think, I think that's a good suggestion. I don't think I can afford to pay two life here with these mana confluences again, so I think we're just doing that. Uh, I think I'm just shipping these in, right? Because these are all X3s. Yeah, they're calling it the game. I think the uh, vo Voice of Resurgence is really good. We've won a lot of games because of Voice of Resurgence. The The issue hasn't been the splash. The issue is that 10... The issue is that double mana confluence is not good. We haven't, we haven't really had problems where we don't draw double mana confluence. So this is Magic Online. For those not familiar, we're locked into five matches with the deck when we play it. So once we finish this last match here, this is going into game three. We're playing for 3-1 versus 4-2. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull it up and talk about things I might do a little bit differently because I have some ideas. It's just an initial rough draft that's got some good synergies going on here. We'll talk about what we can change and why. Now, I don't think I'd play Temple of Plenty. I'd probably play the... Uh, Fortified Village, the green-white hand land, I think is very reasonable. This is great, and I'm not going to be greedy. We're going to play voice on two this time.
No, I want my first three lands to come into play untapped. This is this is a burrito match. Put it mulligan to five this game. Yeah, this curve's gonna be sick. This card, this card's actually very good against us. Like we have a lot of multicolored creatures. Given that the voice on it is an elk, does it count as elk tribal? Asking the real questions. They're going to flip their Kithy in here, which is kind of scary. They have a removal spell. They have deck instead of their own. Nope. All right. Well, they can't flip Kithy in then because I'll trade. Yeah, I think, I think you might be right, Bob, that this might be a green deck because of the Risen Reefs that doesn't want ones. We might just want a higher land count. I drew once upon a time, turn two, before I cast any spells. I think you're right. That sounds right. Twenty-four lands definitely don't want twenty-four lands. That's too many. They're gonna fight this Master of Waves. We're gonna be in a lot of trouble. If they can't take Master of Waves off the table, we're in a good spot. I think we're getting Dravokas commanded. Reflector Mage. Yep. Yeah, this deck would love to play Razor Verge Thicket for sure. I think Fortified Village is fine. I think the Shadows Lands are fine. Again, just like, we've just drawn these double mana confluences like every game in a row. It feels really bad. Oh, did you need attention, Anti-Trumpet? Have a timeout. think we're dead here their their mold of five was good and our deck's a little bit too clunky at the moment yeah they missed they missed their third land on three as well right like imagine if this is a land like, if this is a land, like, we're in a much better spot here, right? Just like things, things to think about. Huh, so I can double. I can double Brazen Borrower this turn, but it cost me two. If it only cost me one, it'd probably be good enough. Yeah, I think some Healer of the Glades would be good. I can't cast Master of Waves. They Reflector Maged it. Looking, looking forward to people not paying attention and recommending those illegal plays in this format again. So I can block. I can't block that, but I can bounce it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pass here and see what happens. I think we're dead. Yeah, reflector mage is a beating when you don't have enough mana to develop your board. This conservative attack is super good for us.
This, this might let us stay in this. So I get to petty theft this. I get to petty theft this. This dies, I get a Risen Reef trigger. Perfect. All right. So I have one, I have three, four, five, six, seven mana total here. Is it crazy to not master of waves? Yeah, probably. So let's start by doing that and then we'll see where we want to go from there. Okay. Okay. Huh. So I think I want to go to two here. What if I attack with this and just like get them under the abyss here soon? Is this too greedy? I feel like this isn't too greedy. Yeah, I feel like I'm supposed to attack with one. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta try to end the game. I think four evolutions is too many, but I definitely think a non-zero is important because I want more Master of Waves density because getting two Master of Waves into play is very important because then your master your tokens don't die when you lose one of your Masters. Because like here... Here, I'm supposed to go green, 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 evolution this voice into a master of waves, I think. Wow, they just conceded. Okay. I don't know that that game was over, but I'll take it. Okay, so the core of this was super sick. Um, Cavalier of Gales and Yarak at the top end were some hot nonsense. Um, I like the Eldritch evolutions, but I think I think four is too many. Going down to three or even two is probably good. Because again, I think I think getting to two Master of Waves is pretty important most games against anybody that can have removal. The second mana confluence was really bad. The first one I think is fine. Was Cloud Seer worth it? Maybe not, especially if I'm going down on Master of Waves. Especially, actually, if I'm getting rid of the fives, I definitely want to get rid of this card because my twos turn into Master of Waves, right? Is Eldritch better than Cord? Yeah, I think so, especially with voice. I think these Brazen Borrowers were a little bit clunky. So like this, I think these are the spells that I like from what we were playing there, which leaves me like eight, eight ish left. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about once upon a time. This card's super good in general. So it's a tough, it's a tough sell for me to cut it. Something, something that is, something that is interesting is, um, what's it called? Someone recommended Courser of Crew Fix. And I was kind of thinking about adding more elves anyways. So like if I was going to go up to 10 one mana accelerants, stop making bad card suggestions. This is part of the reason why I don't like building next on stream. If you're going to tell me why we should add a card, give me a good reason for it. Maybe scavenging ooze is okay. I don't know. Like I like the idea of Corsair because it helps us hit our land drops. The prowess, the prowess matchup felt really hard. That was our loss. And like this 
would probably meaningfully make that matchup better. Mmm, Wicked Wolf. We did talk about Wicked Wolf. And maybe, maybe this many is too many. You should have had Stone Rain, something like that. Yeah, so like something, something like this could be, could be decent. Could maybe head in this direction. But yeah, like the, the voice plus Risen Reef plus Master plus some evolutions felt good. You could do Healer of the Glade for another card you could play. This Rex Sage should definitely be a Knight of Autumn. And you could bring that in against the red deck. Yeah, maybe, maybe Healer of the Glade. I don't know. We're not playing this deck again today. We're going to move on to the next deck like we always do. So I'm not going to like leave. We're going to leave the rest as an exercise to the reader. But I feel like the core of what's going on here felt like it was moderately aggressive and able to play through play through a lot of what other people were doing in the format. Whether or not our interaction can help keep us alive against the against the combo decks could be could be remain to be seen. But yeah. Yeah, it's possible like Courser is not the right answer to. Like I said, I felt like I kinda wanted more elves. So like maybe Wicked Wolf and leaving another evolution is good. There's lots, there's lots of directions you can take this deck in and like that's what's going to be remain to be like figure out and figuring out what's good and what's bad in a brand new format right like working out those important details like do you want like a main deck vine mare if 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 black decks are good and popular main decking a vine mare sounds like a great giant middle finger to them you could main deck declaration in stone if you want some removal so those last few slots are things you want to play around with if this archetype looks like something you're interested in exploring in the format yeah, Master of Waves, Risen Reef was good, and Risen Reef plus Voice was sweet too, because like when this dies, the token's an elemental as well. What's Jace in the board for? It's just like Jace is good against token decks that are making lots of X ones, and it's also a card that generates card advantage against control decks, and it has two blue pips in its casting cost, so it's good with Master of Waves. So, things to things to think about. Alright, so coming up next. We actually have another Bant deck. So yesterday, we 5-0'd with a uh, four-color cat combo deck. And when we were playing that, we ended up boarding into... We ended up boarding into a fair deck with no combo in it a few times. And this is basically a Bant fair deck around that idea. So instead of the cat combo, we've got Gideon Ally of Zendikar as an extra card in our top end to beat people down. We got a bunch of harder Korean, so um, we're going to go ahead and run a break. This is probably going to be a little bit longer break because I need to exchange cards with my sponsors. So I'm going to run a three-minute ad break. As a heads up, yesterday it did take us about 10 minutes to uh, to switch over to the new deck. So I appreciate everybody that sticks through the break, but this is the only option for getting new cards on Magic Online. So BR. 